Okay. As a parting shot, um, where is Milele now? Or, or, or where are you guys individually now? Because Milele is like, you guys, Milele never stops being because your friendship never stops being. But where is, where is Milele? Deep. It's come on, Mandy. Kingangi is, King is, King is Milele. A professor now. <laughs> Kingangi King is Milele. And, and are we expecting, let me even ask a question that a lot of people would wonder, would the music ever be something you consider to go back and... Ah, we're doing a reunion tour. <laughs> <laughs> Kaji has declared it. We're doing Kaji a has declared we're it. Doing, we're doing a reunion tour. Yeah, on, know, on sitting in stools. And, on and stools. it's only 40-year-old women allowed. <laughs> oh my God. In the gig. I'm not in that one. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm don't, not in that one. We don't know young people. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. I mean, no, but they, I think for me, it's something that I, th- you know, I think about. Uh, we bumped into Jacob Basio uh, that day that you yeah. never showed up. Yeah. Uh, another day that you never showed up. Yeah. Yeah, you, what, what, what's wrong with you guys by now? Always <laughs> having gigs that I'm never invited for. This, you see, I'm the white group, white sheep in there. <laughs> in the black group. In the black group. <laughs> 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 ah, uh, but, but uh, technically it's true because I'm the only I'm the only non kikuyu in this group. <laughs> <laughs> now this guy is tired bringing here we go. He's tired <laughs> and now he's tired bringing Ukabila here. <laughs> so so anyway so so we had a chat with and Jacob Basio was just like you guys but now you guys need to do a uh, uh, you know like a comeback album or whatever uh, just I mean just for the heck of it you know and and I was like wait hey, that's not us. That's not a bad idea. Like, yeah, I mean, what would stop us from 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 doing it's that? Fun. You know, it'd be, it'd be fun just for the sake of it to do it. Yeah. yeah, but in terms of Milele, because it was more of an ideology, so you've got the friendship that still remains, and then the music, you know, has gone its own posterity. Like, it's so funny. Sometimes I just, I start listening to Milele music by myself, mm-hmm. you know, driving in Germany. Mm-hmm. You know, just get into a car and I just play Monday and just stand, what, what was this guy smoking? <laughs> you know, you know, but, um, but then the idea at that particular time, because we were about causes, we decided to, the idea was, let's partner because no one of us is better than, no one of us individually is better than all of us together. So the idea of partnerships became a big thing. So partnerships with Mavuno, partnerships with Mariners, and now that that partnership has grown into the global world. Yeah? So the partnership, and that's another story for another day, because now you can pick up a whole different section about Even that. individually, if you have yeah, conversations. You know, because it's a different uh, thing. But the idea was to, instead of trying to be the superstar, why don't you find people who are doing incredible stuff? Because even for causes, we started ha- running after some causes on our own. One of them was the Milele Family Homes, which was a rigorous, but a don't, it was a pretty big task because the goal was to try and take kids out of orphanages. The goal was to actually close down orphanages in Kenya because we believe that kids do not be- belong to an orphanage. They not, don't belong to institutions, they belong to a family. So we partnered with, you know, the Mwitis, you know, with Oasis Africa. We partnered with other people and we were trying to get kids into homes, you know. But because it was daunting for us, we decided how about we just try and partner with people. So partnerships have become a big thing for us. And we're still doing it to this day in, in terms of whether it's Mavuno, different churches, different um, organizations. So partnerships became where we embedded things. So where you take people, you find indigenous leaders who are doing great things and then you find their flame. And in one way or the other, that was a desire that we had. Yep, because for, sure. for Milele, I don't think that that particular time there was people who saw a big thing in us. So our, our flame was not found as much and for us, at least for me, I want to be a part of finding other people's flame versus me trying to do the, the, the change by myself. I cannot bring change in Kenya, but I can find change makers in Kenya and just kind of be their cheerleader, find their flame so that they can go farther and faster, which comes from a desire of which we desired to be held and to be found, you know, but it was harder. It's like we decided, ah, oh, we're going to do it on our own, you know. Um, but then we still had the support of some people who really came alongside us and said, hey, you guys can still do it. So that's where Milele is in terms of, if you think about the ideology and the philosophy of it. But the friendship still remains, you know. Maura, how do you survive with these talkative buggers? <laughs> it's guys are noisy. <laughs> This is, why, nice this is why cheese. I went away very far. Right? <laughs> <laughs> went to Wisconsin. Yeah, Where's quiet? Anything when you're around them? Where's quiet? Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. 
Uh, that's a that's a good question. Um, so actually, after you know the moving, I was a worship um, Pasi director for a while. So and I'm now done with that. I'm back to school. So yeah. So you actually did continue the music journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, did that for about what 13 years. So this uh, last year, I was like, okay, I think. I think now it's time to move on to something else. Professor Mura. Mura. Yes, so, yeah, so I'm a graduate student, so that's what, uh, I'll be a professor at some point. Mm. So, okay. yes. Imagine that. Yeah. Mr. Rasta Farai, Dr. And, and the two of you... And he was the least likely to succeed in this group. <laughs> that's very yeah, true. From, from education from, point of view. <laughs> and, he'll be and the first Milele PhD. <laughs> and from where I've come from. <laughs> and you'll be the first Milele PhD. Although, although now you know, Gitaro, and, and Gitaro possibly is the only, <laughs> and the, and the only one. <laughs> no, Gitaro is a suburb now of Nairobi, eh? Yeah, no, no, yes, no, no, no Gitaro is Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Gitaro, yeah. There I was like, hey. Yeah, so where I grew up now is uh, part of the city. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. Still, of course, you're still in the States. I mean, that's why you've settled your home there. Two, uh, two, two are home, two, two call home the States, two call home Nairobi. Ah, no, 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 no. Home, home is always here. Yeah. We were socialized here. We yeah. moved when we were too old. So, but we, we inhabit two worlds oh, yeah. or many worlds. So yes, yes. The world yeah. is our playing field. There you go. Uh -huh. That's good, good one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the diaspora way of saying mine. We 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 don't belong anywhere. <laughs> We're global citizens. We <laughs> We're global citizens. Kaimus, <laughs> Kaima. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm still in music. When I moved back, I moved back um, from the US. This this guy got married and he kicked me out from America. So I you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I moved back in 2010, and when I moved back. Uh, my desire was to get, was, was stay, in, stay in music. So um, I was the music director at Mavuno, as a teacher at Brookhouse, and then was was helping out Kanji in his, in, at Kijiji as a partner, um, doing eventing and everything. Right now, I'm still in music, but I'm more in advertising right now. And advertising is pretty much again creating great content, um, just the, the same way music is. Uh, it's more of a lateral move, um, but it's just creating uh, great advertising that connects products to. Uh, the consumers that's pretty much what i do and of and course there's still the, the music element music i'm still here never it never end and um, for me i'm like yeah i still teach at brookhouse i'm still a teacher there and um and playing I'm, i've been the desire for me again is just to get into more playing right now um, um and just see what opportunities are there and for me i'm, you, I'm you host the jazz show as well oh yes i'm a capital yeah, capital couple of radio doing the jazz thing and for me jazz piano jazz is what uh, my leanings are more into now so that's that's my that's my thing and it's it's a joy it is a joy for sure. Last but definitely not least, Karaja Bogwa. Uh, um, so, what's the question? What am, what am I doing now? No, this yeah. is, what's your party yeah, shot? It's more like even a party shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think for me, um, I think the friendship of these guys, these guys are my closest friends. And and um, I think for, for many groups, um, you know, the, the realization that uh, I think it's like a marriage banner, eh? you know, where you're like, what you're doing can change, but your friendships are so vital, you know. And so I think being able to be part of these guys' individual journeys and, and, and being able to, to, um, to see everything that God created them to be, you know, them expressing it in, in, in their fullness. I think for me, it's like the joy of my life, Bana, or one of the joys of my life, you know. Um, so, so even as I pursue, you know, my music, um, I think so much of who I am today has been formed by these three dudes, you know. Um, and, and um, you know, and I think about um, how I do business or how um, Mora, Mora taught me how to chit chat. And <laughs> small talk, small talk. <laughs> like that's a thing. That's a thing in the business world. It's an art, it's an art form, which which he seems quite right now. But he's like he's like the he's king, a master, he's like the of, the of, master of, yeah. of, uh, of talking about talk. the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> engaging conversations. Yeah. Conversations. Yeah. Then, then you, you pick on the last word the guy said. <laughs> <laughs> then, then then you, you build on that. Yeah. 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 So, 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 so it's like, uh, you know, so we've impacted and influenced each other. And, and I think God just gave us like an amazing window in time to build such a beautiful story, you know, of, of how, you know, some, 
some vinyangarikas who you know didn't deserve a shot um, but god was like uh, you know um, it's not about what you deserve it's about my grace and, and, and favor you know that that by the way we've experienced tons of that favor you know it's insane it's insane christian has he's the one who has experienced the most favor in the whole world <laughs> <laughs> this guy that's and came as our pharisee <laughs> <laughs> that is me oh god how, how can you do this yeah. how, oh, 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 how? Oh, oh. what's wrong well, you can't think <laughs> and, until i started telezing myself and i was like yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's a nice telezer <laughs> <laughs> the biggest failure in the group yeah. the biggest failure <laughs> Yeah yeah so so, yeah, so so I think for me yeah, that that I think is is kind of like my my experience with Milele has just been the whole idea of lifelong friendships you know and by the way we pick it up you know more we've not seen him in in a year mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's the one here for my wedding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm here every year. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah yeah and by the way we pick it up and continue like you know does it a year two years doesn't matter fyi thanks first and foremost for making this happen some of you have just landed <laughs> yeah man i just got in at four in the morning and you're here for this man. and you was here before kaima cannot be said you had but I, I, I mean honestly speaking for me i think my parting shot is just saying to you guys like when i hear this story and when i begin to peace where even this playhouse i can piece it to milele doing this show because i can look at it from kanji from passion of music from being given a chance to understanding content and all of these other things which which gen, which the foundation of that starts with you guys you get what i mean so i think mine is just say thanks for what you guys have done for the industry at least and even thanks for giving your story a lot of guys haven't shared this thing now there are very many artists who can go back and hear your journeys and know okay maybe i need to change this maybe as a group this is what we need to do maybe we've got this foundation wrong that's why i do this the core of this so that guys can tell their story so that we can understand our history therefore be able no, to we're go going. Front. Yeah. can i get an amen kind amen. of amen <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah you got the nice one or the <laughs> <laughs> thank you la <laughs> anyway thanks so much for that guys thanks, god Esther. bless thanks, you guys. guys nothing but thank blessings you, man. Thank you, man. Azanda. Zanda so cool, man. Good times.